Hey, what's up guys? This is Zach from Wanha USA, and today we're going to be discussing how to get NinjaFlex flexible filament printing out of your DI3 V2 using your custom printed drive lock. We use all kinds of exotic filaments with our printers, and we recently got our hands on some NinjaFlex filament by NinjaTech. This filament results in an elastic, flexible structure, bringing new life and functionality to your prints. However, we found that the flexible nature of the filament can be an issue when guiding it through the drive block into the heating component. So we printed a simple drive block from Thingiverse.com to correct this problem on our Duplicator i3 V2. A link to the drive block we used is included below for your convenience. I highly recommend using ABS filament when printing your new drive block because NinjaFlex requires a heating temperature of between 225 to 235 degrees Celsius. This can cause filaments that melt at lower temperatures to warp. When you've printed the drive block, you'll notice a longer wall along the extruder motor drive gear. This will help the filament feed smoothly through the correct pathway and prevent the NinjaFlex from getting tangled. When you install the drive block, make sure your drive gear is able to rotate without obstruction and that your exit hole is clear. Now just secure your drive block with stock screws and you're ready to create flexible prints. Click the link below to check out the official NinjaTech website and for more information regarding Wanhao USA, go to wanhaousa.com or contact us directly via email at support at wanhaousa.com.